bird. It's a plane. Oh no, it's only Frank. It's the Frank Show. What Frank, the Frank the Show? Frank. Come on, Frank, the Frank the Show. Frank. What Frank. the Frank Show? Come on, Frank, Frank the Show. Frank. What the Frank, Frank Show? Come on, Frank, Frank the Show. Frank. It's time for the show. Bow. <laughs> Aloha, it's Frankie Boy here, and it is time for The Frank Show. Now July has come and gone, and our top pick for that month was Pixel Rip 1989. And in honor of that, we're giving away three copies. Link to that one is in the description. But enough about July. On to August, where we have a bunch of games coming our way. First up, we got one free game. We have five confirmed releases, and we have six games that are looking to release this month. Now, first up, they're giving us Here They Lie, which came out really when the PlayStation VR launched, and it is a strange game. Let, let me tell you that. It's really, really weird. It's a strange environment. It does have free locomotion, and there's a bit of a story to it, but it's more of an experience, and it really is gameplay. But hey, it's free. Definitely check it out. Add it to your library. That way, if you don't want to play it now, you can play it in the future. But anyway, anyway, let's go on to these quality choice titles dated for release. Now, coming up next week, we have, on August 7th, Electronauts from Servios, one of my favorite VR music games that I've had the past that I have played so far. Now, you can be a virtual DJ no matter how good you are at music. They fixed it so the system rigs every hit to time with the beat. Hey, you're going to be a crowd pleaser. This is a great social game. This is an awesome title, and I got videos up. You guys can check it out. Now, on August 21st, we are getting Track Lab, which is another music game that I've not had a chance to check out, but looks really cool. Now, I am more of a beat maker when I, when I play around, and this looks like the perfect tool for that. You could create your own beats, drum kits, samples, put them all together. I'm hoping you can export, and then maybe you could export and add audio to later. I mean, you could do a lot of really cool stuff with this. I love music music production and seeing it in the virtual reality great a now august 28th is the day that we're going to remember for quite a while because we have some fine choice titles coming our way number one i think you guys know is firewall zero hour yes the competitive first person 5v5 shooter is finally hitting playstation vr you can play with an aim you can play with the dualshock 4 whatever you want you guys and it is basically search and destroy in vr if you don't know about it already you've been living under a rock check it out tons of videos up i cannot wait to play it now next up same day we also have torn another title that i am I'm honestly just as excited about checking out. Now, this is story-driven, and it is Black Mirror-inspired, and you get to go into this crazy house, and there's this, like, spirit doctor, and you left a... I don't really know. They haven't given too much away, which I'm happy about because I like mysterious little environments and I love checking out old houses. So I am so looking forward to this one. Now, on top of those two, we also have one more, Bout of Blood. Now, I got to try this one out at PS... I mean, it packs east, and it is awesome. You guys, you get to control a ship, and you're basically at the helm, and you get to put in little blocks and do the defenses and kind of, like, put more cannons up and add more power to different areas, all while you're flying a ship and trying to shoot enemies around, and it's co-op. You can play with a buddy. I mean, this is definitely a title to check out. Keep on your radar. It, it, it's a, it, it really is a hell of a lot of fun. And, and that's it for confirmed dated releases, but don't let that get you down. We have six games that the devs have said are coming in August. They just haven't given us a solid day. Now, as always, this entire list is subject to change because life happens and things happen, especially in VR production. Now, first up, we have Naked Sun, which I tried on the Rift a little while ago, and this is an on-rail shooter in kind of like a futuristic robo environment. Yeah, you get one gun and it kind of has like a laser beam. It's also got shots and you can click a button and it turns into a uh, what's it, like a like a like an SMG rather than just a pistol. And it was fun. It's cool, but it's kind kind of uh, passe. I, I think there's going to be an audience that really likes it, and then there's going to be an audience that's just like, I don't want to ride a train and shoot at stuff. Uh, <laughs> what you can do. Next up, something I am actually really looking forward to, Downward Spiral Horror Station. Now, Downward Spiral already had kind of a PC release, and it's one of these zero-gravity games where it's kind of like spooky, and you're flying around with your buddy and trying to do things in a space station, and this same thing, except it's coming to PlayStation VR. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be co-op as well, and I am excited to take a look. Don't have a full date yet, but we will keep you updated on the show. 
Next up, Summer Funland, which is a collection of kind of mini games, a la Carnival Games, is coming out in August as well. Looks like it could be a lot of fun. I like these games. I know a lot of people like these, do all these different things kind of games. So uh, check it out. Keep it on your radar. And we'll, like you said, you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated. Uh, we are also getting Mind Labyrinth, which does look pretty cool. Now, this is kind of a relaxing experience, what they're saying. Like, you go through this kind of dream world, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it could be nice. It could be fun. It could be, I think it'll be more interesting and kind of like one of those chill out at the end of the night kind of games. But, you know, we'll check it out. And now these last two titles are DLC and updates. Now, they are basically updates that create kind of like new content, almost like a new game. So that's why we're talking about them here. Now, the first one is the Megaton Rainfall Move Patch, which is supposed to be coming very soon, which theoretically could change up the entire gameplay of the game because you'll have free hands to move around and shoot at stuff. I'm excited to try it out. We will check it out on the channel, but this was already an awesome game on DualShock 4. I mean, I, ca I can't wait to fly around the universe with my arms. Uh, with mo I, uh. Right, and then finally, Arizona Sunshine Dead Man DLC. Now, they've been teasing this for a while, and they linked on Facebook. You got also everyone links to all the games that aren't released yet or don't have a date. I put all the news articles below, so if you want to read more about them, you can check that out. But they linked up on Facebook. They said they are in the process of getting it onto the system, so it should be any day now. Now, I don't know when any day now is. I haven't gotten any direct content from them. They've been working really hard on working on their VR arcades as well, but... Uh, soon, 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 so, like I said, action-packed month, tons of content coming our way, what are you guys gonna grab, what are you interested in, what do you think looks like trash, what do you think is gonna be awesome, how many are you ready to play Firewall Zero Hour Day 1, baby, and you do get a pre-order bonus, check that out, you guys, if you want, like, extra skins, and you get double XP, which really could help you, uh, dominate in the first, like, week, which, uh, I, I don't know how... Fair that is to a degree, but well, whatever. We'll talk about that another day. But anyway, you, uh, you beautiful, most amazing audience in the world. Give yourselves a round of applause, thumbs up, and if you think I deserve it, then hey, throw me one as well. But more important than all that is that if you want to stay up to date on any and everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind this ugly mug, fake subscribe. I mean, come on. Smooches. Monday through Friday. Frank Show. Monday through Friday. Frank Show. Buddy on YouTube. Buddy on Frank Show. Buddy on YouTube. Buddy on Frank Show. And that's how you do an outro. I know what else to do. <laughs>